Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on data sampling and questionnaires. Uh, so there'll be a few videos on this topic. In this first one we'll cover data sampling and we'll cover random sampling as well. So we'll start off with looking at data sampling. So imagine I wanted to ask the whole population of Europe a question. It could be any question, uh, but let's just say I want to find out what everyone's favourite film is. Now the best way of doing this in order to get an accurate result would be to ask everyone in Europe what their favourite film is. Uh, but obviously that's going to be a really expensive process and really time consuming. Uh, so what we can do, instead of asking the whole population of Europe, like we have in this diagram on the left, uh, we can ask just a small amount of the population of Europe, so let's say the population of the UK. Uh, so that's what we have in the diagram on the right. So here we're using the population of the UK to represent the whole population of Europe. And uh, now obviously that's not necessarily going to be the most reliable method because the people in the UK might have different opinions to people in France or Spain or Russia and so on. But the advantage of using this method is that it does save time and it does save money uh, because you're only asking a smaller amount of the population uh, but you're assuming that their results are representative of the entire population. But how can we avoid the bias that's present in this method of data sampling? Uh, well, the method we use is random sampling. So rather than asking just the population of the UK what their favourite films are in order to find out what the entirety of Europe thinks, uh, what we can do is instead of picking just the population of the UK, we can take random samples. Uh, so let's say we'll ask someone in the UK, we'll also ask someone in France, ask people in Russia and Scandinavia and so on. So we take random samples from all over the continent uh, and then therefore the results are likely to be more representative of the entire population of Europe and this will avoid bias. Another thing you can do to reduce the amount of bias or make the sample more representative is just to ask more people. Uh, so let's say we have the same question but this time you only were asking people in your family. Uh, this, op this is obviously not going to give you representative results of the entire population of Europe. Um, so the more people you ask the more likely uh, your sample will be representative of a larger population. If you'd like to get some practice with some questionnaires exam style questions, you can do so with our online exam. It's available through our revision platform, and if you take the test, you'll find a variety of different questions, loads of different question types as well, and you get instant feedback on everything. Uh, so if you're interested and you want to take the test, then you can click the link below, it will take you straight there.